Hi, this is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. In this video, I'll show you how to do this realistic bubbles effect in After Effects. This tutorial is inspired by another video from Brazilero. This is an interesting effect. I'll share with you my exploration and my approach to this kind of animation to make this unique effect easy to achieve. You can find the original tutorial linked in the description. Let's get started. First, let's set up a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. We call it bubbles. This is where all of our bubbles will be created. First, create a circle, change to radial gradient, and make it go from dark to white. Then we need to add some layer styles. First, inner shadow, and then bevel and emboss to give our circle some volume. Just adjust the settings over here for these two layer styles. Then we can add a stroke around the circle that finish our setup for the first bubble. Next, to make our circle more fluid like a liquid, we'll add a turbulence displace effect. We'll give it a times expression on the evolution. So our circle is moving like a liquid blob. Then we'll duplicate this first circle multiple times to fill out the whole scene Move them to the desired place to make your layout beautiful. Also modify the scales so they're all varied in size. Next, we'll add an adjustment layer to blur all the circles in the composition. And then we can add a matte choker to blend the circles when they touch each other just like a liquid blob. That completes our setup for the bubbles composition. Now that we completed setting up our bubbles composition, let's move on to enhancing our project further. We'll create compositions for our background text and bubbles reflection, adding depth and realism to our scene. Create a new composition for our background text. It can be your logo or any text. We'll use our title as our background. Just type in realistic bubbles. Let's add in some subtle grading color to the text. We can also make another composition for our background. We'll do a simple dark gradient ramp to our background composition. Now let's drop in the three composition that we had, the bubbles, the background text, and the background. This is what we get. Next, we need to create a composition for the reflection of our bubbles. Let's use this image as the texture. You can select any image you like. Even an image of a building will give you some unique look. We drop in this image, add a motion tiles effect to fill the whole scene. Make sure we have a black background and then we'll just add an adjustment layer with turbulent displace effects. Let's add in the time times 50 expression on the evolution so the reflection is more liquid and always moving. Then we can add a fast box blur to blur out the reflection composition. Before we continue, I want to share with you an exciting news. Motion design courses just became more affordable at Motion Circles. With our Motion Insider membership, for as low as $7 a month, you will get unlimited access to our top tier motion design courses, trusted by over 50,000 students worldwide. Time to elevate your motion design skills to become the best animators you can be. As an insider, you will also receive complimentary project files from all of our Motion Circles YouTube tutorials and enjoy an exclusive 25% discount on all the other incredible animation projects from other artists in our project file shop. Don't miss out on this opportunity to level up your animation skills while becoming part of our vibrant community. Join us today at motioncircles.com and unleash your creative potential. Let's go back to the main comp, drop the reflection composition. First, we need to select our bubble comp as the alpha mat for the reflection comp. So the reflection only shows or appears where the bubbles are visible. Let's change the blending mode to screen. Now we need to add CC glass and CC blobby lights effect to make our reflection a bubble. Set the bump map and the blob layer to the bubbles comp and then adjust the settings to get a bubble reflecting look. And then we can add in some hue saturation effect and curves to make the highlight brighter so the edge of the bubble reflection is more visible. Duplicate the reflection comp, delete the last two effects for this composition. We'll use curve to get rid of most of the black pixels, make the curve like this, and then 
we can add a deep glow effect to have the white pixels around the edges glow better. It will give more definition to the bubbles. Here's before and after of this glow effect. So far, we have our bubbles and reflection set up. Next, I want to add some subtle colors to my bubbles and the bubbles reflections. We'll achieve that by using chromatic aberration effects. To do that, we need to go back to our bubbles composition and add one more effect to our circles. Let's add in the quick chromatic aberration from plugging everything. This is a free plugin. Increase the setting to make sure the colors are visible. We can now copy this effect and paste down to all my other circles in the composition, but make sure to randomize the settings so the colors are not always looking the same. Once we go to our main comp, these colors will be reflected outside of the main composition. This step is optional. Right now, the changes is not so obvious. If you're using a different texture image for the reflection, the change might be more obvious. We'll also want to add some other chromatic aberration to our text. So let's duplicate the text comp, add a quick chromatic aberration effects, adjust the settings to make the color visible. I only want it to show inside the bubble, so let's use the bubble comp as a track mat for our text comp. That's great. Now that we have most of the scene set up to make the bubbles look more realistic, we still need to distort the text that we see through the bubbles. To do that, we'll add an adjustment layer to the top of our bubble comp, but underneath the reflections. Let's add in camera lens blur, change the radius to 15, and then add a turbulent displace again. Adjust the amount and size and add the time times 50 expression to evolution. Now, we'll have a moving distortion on the text whenever it's behind the bubble. Now that the whole scene is set up, you can change your text to any text or any background color you want. You can also make the bubbles with any image or objects. You can get the working file of this tutorial and any other previous or future tutorials for free with our Motion Insider membership. Check out the details in the description below. There you have it. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. You can also join our exclusive Discord community to hang out with like-minded motion designers. If you're serious about learning and improving your animation skills and become a professional, check out our Motion Insider membership at motioncircles.com to access our beginner animation courses trusted by 50,000 plus students worldwide. It is the easiest and fastest way to level up your animation skills and become a professional animator. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.